Okay, today we'll be performing a voltage drop on our starter circuit. We're going to go ahead and first B drop our ins uninsulated side. We're going to go ahead and have one lead connected to the negative terminal and another lead connected to the case ground for the starter. Now we're going to go ahead and disable the coil and we're going to go ahead and start the engine. And we're looking for how much voltage drop is in the circuit. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start the engine. Alrighty. Now we saw about a two and a half, 0.25 to about 0.19 volts dropping between, and our specs is anything below 0.2 volts is good. If it, you have anything that's higher than that, there's probably a high resistance between case ground to negative battery cable to the ground. Now we're going to go ahead and V drop our insulated side. We're going to go ahead and switch one lead to our positive terminal and the other lead is going to go ahead and go to our starter B plus N. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We'll start the engine. And we have about a 0.38 voltage drop. Our specs on the insulated side is about 0.5 so that's good. It's below. Now if you suspect a high voltage drop in between this battery positive all the way out to the starter you can go ahead and V drop anywhere from V plus out from the solenoid we can also V drop the solenoid itself and from battery to solenoid